Did you know that the UK's asylum system is run for profit? We are exposing refugee actions most wanted. The contractors profiting from refugees' misery. The asylum backlog, the cost of hotels, channel crossings, a lack of safe routes. You've probably heard that the asylum system is broken. But it's a system that works perfectly well for those in government who use racist hate speech to distract from their failings. Running a cruel asylum system for profit is a political choice that hurts everyone except the profiteers. So, who are the private companies that have won lucrative contracts with the Home Office? Clear Springs Ready Homes. Clear Springs profits increased by more than 23 million between 2021 and 2022. In 2021, The Guardian exposed poor conditions in Clear Springs accommodation that residents claimed were not fit to live in and found to be rife with damp, mold, water leaks and pest infestations. Corporate Travel Management, CTM, runs to Bibi Stockholm Barge as part of its contract with the UK Home Office, valued at approximately £1.6 billion. Pounds. The barge has been found to have dangerous Legionella bacteria, and the Fire Brigade's union called the barge a potential death trap. Circo. In 2022, Circo's annual profits surged by 21%, to 216 million. Alongside COVID contracts, their financial statements state that the rise in profits were due to strong demand for immigration services. Mears. Mears Group profited 35.2 million between 2021 and 2022. Its 2022 annual report states that providing accommodation and support for asylum seekers make up its most significant contracts. So, What's the alternative? The asylum system should be there to make people safe, not to make rich people richer. It's very simple. We need to see profit taken out of the equation. We're proposing a not-for-profit asylum system, an asylum system that uses public funds to improve services that all of us, including people seeking asylum, rely on. An asylum system in which no person seeking safety is detained. A system that strengthens local authorities to ensure that every person seeking safety is housed in decent community-based accommodation. That recognizes everyone's right to seek safety and live in a community.